right, welcome back. I have started doing a little bit of ballast on this side, finishing this scene out. I've stopped there. I follow the tracks, the main and the yard lead along here. I don't want to pull that tape off yet because I want to do some static grass across the back of here. So I'm going to do that next. Then I'll pull the tape off and then I'll start ballasting the track all the way over to where the scenery ends. So that's the plan. And we'll see how far we get with it this week. All right, it's been about a day since I did that static grass application behind the track there. And I like how it turned out. Uh, you'll notice I did leave the painter's tape uh, on the yard lead, which is the track closest to the camera here. Um, and I came along the edge of the teddy bear fur and cut it back just a little bit out of the ditch. And now I want to do a little static grass application along the edge of that. Um, and then I'll pull the painter's tape up and, uh, and continue on with the ballast work, uh, which currently, I think I've already showed this, but currently goes to the bridge. Although I did have to add that little ground throw and worked around that. So I'll come back and add that and then pick up where I left off there. And then the main, I left off kind of under the bridge. So keep taking the ballast uh, right to left. But because I really like the way the static grass went on top of the teddy bear fur here, how it layered in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take that all the way around the edge of it. So I like that look, get that going, and then, uh, and then we'll do some ballast. All right, quick in progress here. Uh, I did uh, do the static grass around the edge of the teddy bear fur uh, to include the approach driveway. And I really like how that turned out. Kind of just now blends in. It looks like the pasture just comes right on up uh, into their, uh, their drive here. Did a little bit around the back and in the back and the, behind the, uh, the shed there and that little back section there as well between the two buildings. Not too much, just enough to kind of hide the, the edge and blend it in. And then of course, uh, came around uh, the bottom of it on the track side as, as well. So a lot of what you see kind of in the center of frame there, that's all static grass now. Uh, kind of went right over the, right up and over the edge of the teddy bear fur, which gives it a nice little fall in the terrain down into the, the creek bed that's gonna be there. So I like how that turned out. So now, uh, as I've done that, I've, I've also, let's see, multiple projects going at the same time. Uh, also working ballast here. So I've now got this ground throw in and painted to dull it down a little bit. It actually looks more brown, uh, kind of blends in with the rails more in real life than it does on the camera. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, it's functional. And that's, uh, that's how I operate all my switches. I don't, I don't, nothing, I don't have any power to anything. It's just, it's just these things. Keep it simple. I like operations and scenery and you know, I think electronics are neat, but I don't think I'm very good at them. <laughs> it's just not my interest. So uh, that's the plan there. And uh, speaking of uh, other things I'm interested in, apparently I'm interested in punishing myself because <laughs> not only am I now continuing work on these three pine trees, uh, I've also, uh, while watching a, a baseball game yesterday afternoon, yesterday was Sunday, I uh, started making these armatures. So I've got a, a large, kind of a medium and a smaller tree there. Um, you know, similar in size to some of the pines. But I just, I saw some other modelers doing this with just twisted wire. This is just uh, gauge, I think it's gauge 24 florist wire. And just kind of twist them into these shapes. And boy, I tell you, this, this looks, this is what deciduous trees around here look like. A lot of them. And it's kind of hard to get the uh, the look without the center trunk, you know, a main center trunk going all the way up with little branches coming off it. I mean, yeah, that's the way the pine trees look and um, maybe your tulip poplars and stuff. But if you look at an oak, that that, that uh, trunk is, is branching in multiple places uh, and, and, and way down towards the base of the tree in some cases. So anyway, that's kind of a look I was going for. And then what I was thinking I might do I haven't quite figured this part out yet, but for the flocking part, if I grab these little pieces, these are little scraps, see if I can get it in frame where you can see it there, little scraps from Super Tree. Maybe there's a way 
I'll have to think about it, to attach these to the ends of here. This gives me, I mean, these are about as good of a thing to flock as, as there is, and I like the structure of that, but this branch structure is superior to anything that comes in the super leaf. So I'm not sure, do I use a very, very small heat shrink tube? Do I try to glue it? I'll kind of mess around with that and play with what that looks like and, and how to attach that. But I've got a bunch of this leftover stuff, things that break off when you're making the trees or just little scraps in the box that would uh, make for a great uh, kind of feature deciduous tree. So I've got three there um, for that project. Um, but I want to keep my focus here as much as I can, uh, get these ready because I do want to get them in this space here. Um, but I won't do that till after I ballast. So, John, you need to focus on ballast, get this scene done, more to come. All right, so back to these trees, the pine trees. Um, what these are, just to quickly recap, is 24 uh, gauge wire wrapped around a dowel. And then every so often I made a loop. Uh, the loop helped hold the longer uh, static grass fibers in place between sort of two, two sides of the wire on the loop. Um, and then you cut the wire, pull them apart and start adding smaller layers. I then came in and on the trunk, just with some matte medium, I talked about this on a, a previous video, but with some matte medium and uh, fine turf, earth color I used, but I'm gonna paint them so you could have used anything, uh, to get a little bit of a bark texture going on. And then I came in with a little bit of um, fiber paste and added uh, along the base of the branches, I just widened them out a little bit so that they just didn't look like wires coming out of a trunk. And so that's where we are. Um, there's a couple of applications of 12 inch static grass, then down to six and a half. And I've got some four up there as well. And uh, I wanna get this all painted. I'm gonna use, uh, I've got my airbrush out. Uh, I'll be using uh, kind of a, a dark umber color. It's just flat black and a brown color, thinned way down. I'm gonna go over this whole thing with that. And then I'll think about flocking the actual needles on. So that's where we are. I've got three of, no, three of them to do. So I will do these now and show you what they look like when we're done. pine trees, something like a loblolly, something like a southern yellow pine, I don't know. This is the branch structure, uh, it's coming out a little dark, um, I intentionally got them real dark. I think it looks extra dark because the light is kind of behind them a little bit. Um, but that kind of covered up a lot of the various, you know, bright green wire and funky brown color of that earth earth-toned uh, turf I used for the bark. So I think what I need to do now is just come in here, give the trunks a little bit of a dry brush, bring out a few highlights, and then uh, flock. So that's where we are. I'll uh, get cracking on that. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna call an audible. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna airbrush a lighter color over the top because all dry brushing is doing is bringing out the fact that there's coiled wire along the trunk look right there right center of frame the dry brushing just brought it right out so yeah let's try uh let's try a different tack 
All right, so I've decided it's really not showing up very well on this light. Let's try over here. So the, the putty I added just has a little bit of a different texture. So I wanna come back in on those areas where I added putty and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the fine turf material, just in those little knobs and stuff, right like that. Where it's smooth, I don't want it smooth because the paint really showing it. So I'm learning as I go. Uh, in general, I really like the shape of these trees. I just need to kind of work out the kinks and work out the details. I've never done this before. Um, but I'm going to leave it here this week. Um, I'll keep working on these pines and uh, keep ballasting up above uh, in the coming week. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and be well.